Hey and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, what we're going to do is we're actually going to discuss how we can actually use borders in Swift UIs with views and shapes. So let's get straight into it. If you want to add a border around a view, we actually have a modifier to do this. And that modifier is simply called border. So what we're going to do is we're going to add it around our text here. So before our padding, let's just add our border. And then what we're going to do is we're going to specify a color here red and now you should see that we have a red border around our text now the reason why we have it around our text is because of the or not around the whole view with the padding that we applied it's because of the order of where we specified it and i actually break this down in my video getting started with xcode for swift ui and also breaking down swift ui as well so our red border is around the text but it's not around the padding. So in order to add it around the padding that we added onto the text view, all we need to do is just change the order of these two. So now let's remove this and then paste it below our padding. And now you should realize when we actually deselect it, that our border actually covers the padding that we specified on our text view. What we can also do as well is we can actually specify the size of our border as well. So in order to do this within the border modifier, you can actually use the width parameter, which allows you to specify the size of it. So what we're going to do is just specify a width of five pixels like so. And as you can see, we now get a thick, thicker border around our text view. We could also apply a corner radius onto this as well if we went to round it. So in order to do that, what we could do is we could use the corner radius modifier and then specify a corner radius. And this does look all right, but we do have a bit of a problem here. So the problem that we have is if you just look at it, is that we actually have these sharp edges inside of the rectangle and on the outside, it's not, it doesn't really look like a nicely rounded rectangle. So if you want to do this type of effect where you have a uh, rounded rectangle corner radius, what you could do is actually use the overlay modifier and use a shape within your overlay. And I actually do go over shapes in my video, shapes in Swift UI, which you should check out as well. So in order to do this, we're just going to delete our border and corner radius modifiers like so. And I'm just going to use the overlay modifier and then within it, we're going to specify a shape, rounded rectangle, and then a corner radius like so. Now, when you do this, you'll notice that you'll just have a shape that's just black and covers your text. And the reason why that is is because by default, the shape has a fill on it and the fill of it is black. So what we actually want to do is remove this black and replace it with a stroke border around it instead. So in order to do that, we just need to use the stroke modifier, which allows us to apply a stroke onto a shape. So let's do that now. Okay, cool. And now when you actually inspect it, we've actually got more of a rounded rectangle on the outside and the inside bit is more um, curved. So it's not got the sharp edges. So this looks more like a corner radius border. So one thing that I do want to mention and talk about is that when you're actually working with shapes as well, you'll notice that the modifier that you use is actually different to when you actually are working with views. So when you're working with views, you wanna use the border modifier, but if you're working with shapes, then you actually wanna use the stroke and there's another modifier called stroke border as well. So what we're going to do now is go through that stroke border example. So let's just delete, well not delete, but let's just comment this out by hitting command and then the backslash like so. And then we're going to add a circle onto our screen with some padding. Cool. So now we have a circle on the screen. And what we're going to do with this circle is we're actually going to apply a stroke border, which actually has a gradient within it. So it almost looks like a progress ring. So let's add that in now. So I'm just going to... And it's really important that you actually do add this stroke border directly onto the circle before the padding. So now when you actually look at it, we actually do have a stroke border being drawn around our circle using a gradient, which is another view. So you can see here when working with shapes, it's actually quite simple to just, you know, customize them and add borders onto them as well. If you need to get some kind of custom view effect, you could even like center some text 
within this, if this was within a Z stack like so. So now we get this effect where we've almost got like a text within a um, progress view. So we can do this quite easily. Okay, so that's everything from me. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. Also as well, if you haven't already, I really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up and as well, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button below and hitting the notification bell so you can get updates whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you all in a bit. Deuces.